I am going to show you how to add products to your Shopify store using the Oberlo app from your inside your shop store. So I'm sorry for the video, uh, I'll, for the quality. Uh, this is only my second video and I'm trying to perfect this as much as possible. But the uh, um, end game is just to show everyone how to do everything properly rather than trying to make sure the video is perfect condition. So anyways, here we go. So we're going to go to my Shopify store. Okay, so uh, this is my Shopify store right here. So now we're going to go to, uh, you go to your home right here. If you go to your home and you see where it says app right there so you have the app uh, click on the app and your billow should pop up right there okay so all you do is uh, you click on a billow or bare low so uh, you go to search products and you could key in what you're looking for. So we're not gonna search for anything right now, but you could key in, you could go from category. It gives you category. So we'll, we will just go to, we'll just click on something. So let's just say this backpack right here. We have this backpack. So all we do is you click on add item to your list so you could do click on as many as you like and up here it says how many items have been imported to your list I'm sorry how many items have been imported to your list and this is how many items you have total on your store right now okay so we went ahead and added this to your list and if you want if you made a mistake you could always remove and it'll remove it just in case you didn't you do not want the item it tells you the shipping days 12 to 25 days and uh, it tells you the information if you click on the package how much and where it's shipping the shipping cost and all that good stuff so anyways let's continue so now we'll go to imported list to go to that backpack. So here's the backpack. Uh, men's portable backpack, computer bag, school backpack, business travel bag. So if you want, you could go ahead and change that to make it more sleek, whatever you like. Description. This description is actually pretty nice. If you wanted to, you could click on that right here for a full screen. Me personally, whenever there's pictures right here in the description, I usually just highlight it and then just delete the picture. I don't like pictures in the description. It's just too much. Uh, you have pictures and varieties and images. So uh, here's the description. You know, this one actually is pretty nice because it already comes with all the uh, all the sections of the feature. But if you want to change it, here are the options. So, variety. Now, you could choose which variety of backpack uh, you want to use. Or which ones you want to sell at your store. Now let me tell you about these prices if you're not sure what this what this means. What this means is the item of the backpack would be here. So for example, let's say I want to sell this backpack for $30. We'll give it an even number. And the way I did that, I'm sorry. So you press change all price, set new value. You put 30, apply, so that will change all the price to 30. Now, this section right here, let's say you want to make it seem this item's on sale, or 
if you started selling this item and you have it for a certain price and you see that it's not doing well you want to drop down the price I'll show you how to do that inside your store as well but if you want to go ahead and make it as if it's a sale item so you would change this side where it says 3340 let's just say the original value of this backpack was 39.99 so the original value was 39.99 apply all prices now when you post this on your store it will show that you are placing this item on sale and whoever's purchasing is going to save nine dollars okay so let's go to the next thing which is the images click on the images that you you like to use you know which ones ever it gives you a couple of options but when you click on the images make sure very important make sure that over here is available so over here we have 293 of each item roughly so yeah we could choose all the different colors so once we're done we go ahead and push this to our store okay so let's push to our store now on the top we're in Obillo right now so we want to go back to our store so this is back to our store. So now we're going to go to products. <clears throat> and we're going to go to all products, which is already here. So now we're going to look for that backpack that we just added. Um, you could special search it. So it was men men's backpack let's see if it comes up there we go you see it says men's backpack a computer bag and everything so remember i said you could change you could change the stuff around again inside your store so once if you if you want to change it around you could always do it in your store as well so <clears throat> from here if for example let's say you want to showcase this one all you do is drag over here and paste and let's say you want to change the price so you could go back in here and click edit if you want not show it as a sales price so if you don't want to show it as a sales price right here where it says 37 regular price and your price is 3340 all you would do is take out that 37 dollar price and then you would have to do it for each for each one one at a time and when you do it when you make the change let's say we want to uh, delete this you got to make sure very important you save it if you don't save it it's not going to save so let's go back here leave the page we didn't we didn't change anything i want to show you how it will look inside your store so let's go ahead and add this to a collection. We'll add this to my backpack collection, which I already have. Oh. And we will press save. Okay, so it's saved. Now let's go to my store. So we're gonna go to my store. So we'll go to accessories. This is my store, by the way. We'll go to backpacks. Now, we'll go down, look for the backpack. So, actually, this backpack, I already have it on my website. As you see, original price was $37. So, 
So after $3.60 savings, the new price will be $32.40. So original price, I had it for $37. And then I put it on sale price at $33.40. So it shows the customer you have a savings of $3.60. Another backpack right here. So I have it where it says you save fifteen dollars and three cents, and this would be the uh, discount price. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. And if you have any questions, please ask, and I will try to help you as much as possible. Uh, one quick thing: make sure if you guys have this, if you have your store connected to your Facebook page. It's very important that it says sales channel, manage, and make sure you click the online store and the Facebook store. So that way it is posted on both channels and you don't have to do it all over again on Facebook. And it just does it automatically. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any questions.